on a day today, man. In a day today, they wanna be like they wanna be like Esau, man. They wanna live like him, right? They don't wanna live, with, you know, how, like like how it says within the scriptures, man. Like how it's prescribed to, do, to conduct yourself within the scriptures. Why? Because they got a perpetual hatred for the truth, right? This truth has been set up as a snare for them, right? From the foundations of the earth. But guess what? From the foundations of the earth, the Most High set up His elect men. Right, and he set it up that he, he, his, his man was gonna be out here pushing pushing this web because the the the, 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 pre, the prophets and the, and the real teachers weren't gonna be pushing to a corner anymore. And guess what, man? The, the prophets of old spoke of great destruction against many people, man, against great kingdoms. All right. It says here, make the heart of this people fat, make their ears heavy, and shut up their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart. And be con and convert and be healed and heal from heal from what man all of your illnesses and illness all of that stuff man is prescribed within the scriptures man ways of healing yourself is prescribed within the scriptures by way of the herbs and all of that but really it's a spiritual healing that, that has to take place man the spiritual cleansing has to take place man. when you when you come a, a spiritual cleansing takes place when you come into this truth man. right when you go get, get into the word and understanding of the word the most like cleanses you man. All right, but the rest of the people, he's gonna have to cleanse them with the fire, the nuclear weapons that's gonna be coming from the Russians, coming from the Chinese people, the, them, them, the South Koreans, because them, them South Korea, the, the South and the North Koreans, they're gonna realize, wait, hold on a minute, man. We've been fighting our own kin, right? Why? Because the Esau come rolled up in us and divided us, man. Right? And that's why the scripture says, man, all the men that have uh, that confederacy have deceived him, man. They're gonna, they're gonna rise up against you, man. Right? To the end that, to the end of which, they're gonna be like, is this the man that made the whole earth to tremble, man? Are you become as weak as we are? Why? Because the most high is gonna remove that spirit, right? That's that, that he put upon you, that that that, that, that spirit of uh, that he put upon Cain, because Cain pretty much said, right, this mark is far this punishment is far too much for me to bear, man. This mark is too much for me to bear, in other words. Right, but then the most I said, whoever cursed be him that killed Cain. They gave him the blessing under the sword, pretty much. The same thing that, that, that uh, and that's how we know Cain is Esau, because Esau's got the same blessing under the sword. Right, I believe the word Cain itself, in itself, means a, 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 a killing instrument. All right, it says, um, and, and this is the point I was getting at here. This is um, Isaiah, this, the sixth chapter and eleventh verses, and then it says, Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered me, Still the cities be laid waste without inhabitants, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So that's how you look, you, you, you know, the scripture says there in the Proverbs of the first chapter, right? How long you simple ones gonna love simplicity, you was gonna love simplicity, you was gonna get this thing right when it was too late. But you was gonna get it to when, to, to, when, when uh, uh, the city was gonna be laid, the cities was gonna be laid waste, all right? It says there. Uh, then said I, how long? And he answered me, until the cities be laid waste, without inhabitants in the houses, without man, and the uh, land utterly desolate, man. And the scripture speaks all about that, man. It all speaks about the, the, the great destruction of your, 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 your kingdom, America, right? And, 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 and on which that England's going to fall, and all of that, right? But guess what, man? In, in the book of uh, Second Ezra, 6, chapter 9, verse, which I quoted before, it says, Esau's the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So your the, your destruction brings about the uh, the foundations of our kings, but we can't build upon, we can't we can't coexist, you can't coexist with the devil, man. You're gonna remove the, the the parasite. You can't, yeah, you can't coexist with the cancer, man. You gotta remove the cancer, right? Now, how do they remove the cancer in your in your so-called medical industry? They burn it out using the the, the, the gamma rays, man. The so-called um, cancer treatment, all of that. They burn it out. And that's what the Most High is fitting to do with the cancer of the earth right now, which is Esau, the so-called white man. He's gonna burn him out, man. Right? In fact, even even even, even Esau, right? Who looks like who looks like a, 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 the so-called white people that are amongst our people that looks like the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. The Most High said, "Let both grow together until the harvest, which the harvest, right? The end of the world, right? And, and which it, you know the, the, the scripture says that uh, uh, the world shall endure forever. So that seems like a contradictory fact." All right. Excuse the wind. So that don't happen again. Let me put my neck up.
Right, so um, back in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter, and it's the 23rd verse, it says, How long I turn you at my reproof, and behold, I will pour my spirit unto you. So when the Mosai had set up his men, pretty much to curse you out, man, to tell you that you're going off on the Lord's such commandments that he set forth from the foundations of the earth, telling you you got to get right. Right, when you turn it to the reproof of the Mosai, right, he was going to pour out his spirit unto you. In fact, man, we go into the scriptures, man. The Lord said He was going to sup with you. He's going to be. He was going to be the, the Lord. Lord set up the comfort, which was the scriptures, man. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, was going to deal with you. You're going to get the understanding of the Word. So when you turn it to reproof for the Most High. The Most High deals with you. But like I've been saying from the beginning, man, the, 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 the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, they don't fear the Most High. So the Most High ain't going to ain't going to sup with them. Man. In fact, one of the principal things that when the Most High don't sup with them because they got they got pride, man. They got a whole heap of pride, and the most side resists that pride, right? Which, uh, which pride comes by way of what? Not fearing the most side. It says here, because I have uh, turned you in my reproof, and behold, I'll pour out my spirit unto you, and I'll make known my words unto you. It says, because I have called, and you have refused, and I have stretched out my hand, and no man regardless of the most side is going into where his men is going to preach in all, you know, front the four corners of the earth, you got the truth coming out. And if you know if you ain't out there on the on the on the, on the street seeing the truth there, you're gonna be on the internet readily available. And the most I pretty much saying, man, because he, because he is cold and you did not answer, guess what, man? Yeah. It says turn you up, my it says, uh, because I have called and you refused, and I stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but you have set up not all my counsel, so you haven't taken heed to the counsel of the most side. Right? Because he said, not all of my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamity. So when your calamity comes, man, what's calamity? It's bad times, in other words, so you can understand. When your time of evil comes, man, right, when you know food within them shops, man, when your, uh, your, your pound, your, your dollars, your, 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 your yens, whatever you want to call it, your euro, when all of that becomes, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, un unvaluable, so, uh, for lack of a better word, when that becomes unvaluable, Right, the most I want gonna have it to where oh, you know, it's gonna be all right, we're gonna take care of you. The most I was gonna have it to where he's gonna laugh at you, man. How he's gonna have it, how he's gonna have it to where he's gonna laugh at you, man. He's gonna set up his prophets, right, to laugh to laugh at your calamity, man. Right? He just says, um, um, I will also laugh at your calamity. I'll mock when your fear cometh, and when your fear cometh, there's a desolation and there's destruction, and there's a whirlwind and the anguish upon you. Right? That's how they call upon you. So you, in that day, people gonna remember the name of the Lord, but guess what, man? Right, like it says there, that's how they call upon me, but I will not answer. So the Most High wasn't gonna have, he wasn't gonna have none of it, man. He ain't gonna have none of it. Right, so when you see all kind of terrors come upon you, you ain't got no food in your bed, you can't find no war, you know, children, men, women, they're all getting blasted, all, you know, left, right, and center, man. Right? The Most High was gonna have it to where he ain't, he wasn't gonna, he wasn't just gonna come back in a fold like that, man. Most I was gonna have it to where the prophets was gonna laugh at you for laughing to man. Alright? It says, and they shall then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer, they shall seek me early, right? But they shall not find me because for they hated knowledge. Because these Negroes and Spanish Native Americans hated knowledge, but they hated to fear the most side, man. Because they hated knowledge, right? And did not choose to fear the most side. Right? And it says that uh, they were none of my counsel, so every time you get cursed out and all of that, man, none of them. You, Disregard the counsel of the most high. Alright? It would none of my counsel, right? They despise all my reproof. Therefore they shall they eat of their own ways and be filled in their own devices. So you're gonna be filled in your own devices. Alright? And you're gonna get a missile come and right hit you and you re hit you in your head and blast you, you know, from here to you know till forever, man. You know, I'm trying to find ways of uh, pointing so you can understand, man. You know, the scripture says, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. But the best way you can see it, you can understand what's going to happen, man, is by watching them post, post uh, up, uh, apocalyptic films, man. When they know man's on the street, you got people all rolling out around all out uh, all here, hey, man. But the elders boy out, right? These people are only here. There's only so much people upon the face of the planet, boy, because judgment has to be executed. That's why you got 7 billion people upon the face of the earth. And it was something like 2 billion people in the 1700s, right? Simply for the fact that judgment must needs be executed, man. That's why you got all kind of people walking up and down. But there's going to come a time where the most are going to clean wipe out this, out of this, man. When you read the scriptures, it says, man, a man's going to desire to see another man's face, man. 
Why? Because the cities are gonna be empty. Right? They're gonna, they're gonna, there was gonna come a time when they ain't, they went, there wasn't even gonna be left a brick left upon another uh, uh, upon another brick, man. All right. So let me just read that again. It says they would none of my counsel to despise all my reproof, right? And therefore shall they eat off their own ways and be filled in their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of the fools shall, 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 shall uh, uh, destroy them. So you got fools within within the, within the circle of uh, obedience or, uh, 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 of Israel, man. Right? There were none of, uh, none of the council of the men of GMS, the elders of GMS. There were none of the council uh, of the brothers, of, of brothers underneath the elders of GMS. Therefore, they're going to eat the fruit of their own way. So, man, when, when you see all kind of scoffers popping up all over the place, speaking contrary to the scriptures, man. Why right, for filthy lucre sake? Because a lot of the time you find out, man. Why right, there's a motive behind what the, some of these people say, namely, you know, the thing with the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. There's a reason why they say, you know, it's it's, it's an embargo and all of that, man. There's a reason why they don't teach it. Why? Right? Because they got they got paid off, man. They do it for filthy lucre sake. But guess what, man? They're gonna eat off their fruit of their own work, own ways, man. Why right, they gonna be destroyed? So this is back in uh, the book of Ezekiel. It says, for they are impudent children, stiff-hearted, and I do I, I do send them unto thee, right? And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, right? And they they will whether they will hear or forbear. So you must, your, your instructions are to, are to go out, right? And tell you whether they these Negroes, Spanish, Native Americans hear or forbear. You're supposed to still come out and push this push this word, man. All right, whether they will hear or forbear, right? Right? For they are a rebellious house. Right? And it says, uh, yet, uh, yet ye shall know that, uh, yet, sh yet shall, yet shall know that they have been a prophet among them. So they gonna know that they, the prophets have been among them. And, uh, and, and like we've seen in the book of uh, Isaiah, the sixth chapter and the ninth verse, where they gonna find out and they gonna, they gonna get it. The penny's gonna drop. Right? Right when the, you know, right when the cities be laid waste, man. Right when the house is without any inhabitants, man, we ain't, we ain't gonna, you ain't gonna find people, you know, walking up and down, man. You know, that's when, that's when, that's when, that's when, that's when your people's gonna, you know, gonna, gonna get it, man. All right, it says, right, and uh, whether they will hear or forbear, or whether uh, uh, for they are rebellious, out, yes, shall they, they shall know that there was a prophet among them. It says, thou son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. All right, it says. Um, for uh, though briars and thorns be with them, right, thou shalt dwell amongst scorpions and be not afraid of their word, no, be dismayed at their looks. So, Mosai was gonna have it to where our, our spirit was gonna be hard against uh, 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 you, you, uh, 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 you know, the people of our, you know, the people of our own nation, to where you know this truth had to be had to be pushed out, irregardless of our thoughts or anything like that. All right, now let me jump to Second uh, Timothy four and three. Uh, Alright, so this is the book of Second Timothy, the fourth chapter and the third verse. Right, it says, preach the word, be inst instant, in season and out of season. So the word's going to be preached in season and out of season. All right, it says, it says, reprove, rebuke, uh, right, and exhort, right, with all long suffering, all right, and the doctrine, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but, um, but after their own lust shall they heap unto themselves, right, teachers having itching ears, right, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and be turned unto fables. So dudes, we're gonna be turned turned away from the truth. We're gonna be we're gonna, be, gonna be turned away into something a little bit more pretty, man. Something they can amalgamate a bit better, right? Something that they can mix in with their own uh, 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 um, uh, with their own uh, with, with their so-called uh, Europe, 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 European, you know, uh, you know, uh, Americanized uh, 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 um, lifestyles, man. Right, and a happier form of the truth, man. But guess what? The most I ain't with that. 
You ain't with the watering down from the scriptures, man. Right? It was gonna come hard, raw, and, and hard hitting, whether you liked it or not. Alright? So it says there. Right? But thou, uh, this is the fourth verse. It says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and, uh, and be turned unto fables. Right? But it says, but thou, watch. But watch thou in all things and enjoy afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, and make a full proof of the ministry, right? And and that's the instructions that you know that we got that you're supposed to be, you know, that you're supposed to be followed. Right now, this is the uh, book of Mark, the thirteenth chapter. Now I'm gonna start from the top. All right, this is Mark thirteen and one. It says. And he said, unto, uh, he went out, out of the temple, right, and said unto him, and, and they said unto him, right, he says, Master, see what manner of stones, right, and what buildings are these? So the, 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 the a disciple, and this is the scripture I caught a little bit early on, the disciple pretty much, look, hey, look at these buildings, man, they they're nice, man. All right? Something to that effect, he says, in your house, I answered, he said unto him, seest these great thing, uh, seest thou these great buildings? It shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. So that's 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 what the Lord said when he was, and that was you know back two thousand years ago, right? And you got all kind of buildings all all around the place right now, man. But the Lord said, man, right, they ain't gonna be left one stone upon another. All of, all of that's gonna be destroyed, man. In fact, let me get it in the book of Amos, the ninth chapter and the eighth verse. I went for one. I was like, Right, so this is the book of Amos uh, 9 and 8. It says, Behold, right, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, right, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving utterly I will not destroy the house of Jacob's Lord. The eyes of the Lord power upon, the, you know, are recording all of that that's happening in this kingdom right now, man. Where right, all the wickedness, all of the shit that, that, get, that gets talked about, the men, the Lord, the Most High is recording all of that. In fact, the angels are recording that, man. And every man's gonna, every every man's gonna have to make account of for his works and his labors and his words, man. All right. In fact, when you go into the book of uh, Second Thessalonians one and six, the scripture says, uh, uh, "It is a righteous thing with the Most High to rep retribute." to recompense them that trouble you man you got all kind of people that trouble the men of the Lord you think the most I just gonna have it to where people won't get away with that man right so when this destruction comes about man you're gonna get you can get, get a lot of dudes that gonna, that's gonna catch all kind of hell man who's gonna catch all kind of hell man right because they're gonna make a, they're gonna make account for their labors man they're gonna receive the works of, 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 of their doings man all right so it says there um, Saving utterly, I will not destroy the house of Jacob. It says, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel, like all the sifted in the sea, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So the, the least of the elect wasn't going to fall upon the earth, man. And the most I was going to uh, sift us from whether we was going to be among the Ammonites, amongst the Edomites, right? Amongst uh, 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 amongst the uh, 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 or any, any other different nations, man. As long as their descent, they was direct descendants by way of their father, by way of their lineage. Right of uh, of the man Israel. I'm going to the um, Romans ninth chapter real quick, man. So this is Romans nine and one. It says, "I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bearing witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites." So who? who who, who was who was Paul speaking to? Who, who did he have great heaviness that he could have the same curse that befell uh, 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 Yahweh's side, man? He was for his kinsmen, the people of the same lineage, the same stock as he was, man. Right? So you got all the you got this, this happy-go-lucky mentality within so-called Christian community. On that, we don't deal with no Christianity, man. In fact, we're the real Christians, man. Which that was a derogatory term that he used to befall up, that, that befell upon us because we followed Christ right unto death, man. Right, but guess what? When the Lord was on the scene, what did He say, man? Them that die with me, they shall, they gonna live with me, man. Right, so as we are dead in the in the, in the world right now, when the Yahweh side gets set up, right, and He's elevated, guess what? The men underneath is gonna get elevated too, man. You're gonna be nice. You're gonna get all kind of slaves. 
Right? You'll get all kind of women, all kind of riches and that. You're going to be all right. All right, so it says here, um, who, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Mosai and the promises. So all the promises, the covenants, all of that, this is the first covenant, the second covenant, that all pertains to the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. The new covenant ain't for the, the either, man. Right? And a lot of people gonna get but her about that the fact that most size only dealing with one group of people. Guess what, man? Right? The most size above all things. The man, in fact, the most size said it. Uh, 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 the most size said it best when he said, "My ways are not your ways, man." Right? And why are you gonna get all, all emotional about some healing? Right? They don't give two, you know, two, two shits about you, man. They don't care about you. All right. Now this is back in the book of um, Amos, the ninth chapter. Uh, and the ninth one says, For lo, I will command and sift Israel among all nations like corn is sifted in the seed, yet shall not the least grain of fall, uh, fall upon the sand, right? Upon the earth, furthermore, it says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake us, not prevent us. So, all of these guys are coming up against the men of the Lord right now, man. They, 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 they say it because they think that evil days shall not overtake them, man. They say that, 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 that the evil is going to be Threatened, but the most sides gonna have it to where they're gonna do whatever madness that they're into up until uh, forever and ever, man. That ain't gonna happen. The most sides, it's like it says in the scriptures, man. The most sides gonna have it to where retribution is gonna have to be executed. All right, so this is back in the book of uh, uh, Mark 13th chapter. Um, and I'm gonna jump to 